Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another episode of Portal. Puzzle 5. Puzzle 5 here is probably the first puzzle that could be a little difficult for most people. You have a button here, and a button here, and so obviously you need both buttons to be check marked. You have, like the last puzzle, a box here, so I can click that right under that and it has gone over there. So now I have a box over here, and a box over here, I need them to be on top of these buttons. These 50 megawatt button things. So the, the implication is that by simply putting a box on here, it, this thing is generating 50 megawatts, which is a ton of electricity, which is then powering some cord or this, this facade itself, this face, to this box, which then powers the door. 50 megawatts. Let's see. That's 50 million watts. You probably use in a month maybe one megawatt of electricity. That would be a thousand kilowatts. Your your bill is probably formed in kilowatts. So build in kilowatts. So yeah, about a month's worth of electricity being pumped out right then in voltage. I suppose I've never tried this. <laughs> I've never tried to just jump up and grab this. It's pretty far back. Let's see. What happens if I put this? Notice that the mechanics are around here of... Oh, you could do it that way. I have just found a new way to solve this puzzle. I have never solved this puzzle any differently than the way I did before. And the way I did before is the basic way. It's the way you probably would have solved it. You would have been here, gotten the one box, dropped it off, and then seen the other box over there. And just reinforcing you can make portals from far away walking through it. So, this puzzle is definitely reinforcing. You can you can get boxes that are down there too. You can make portals far away. The portals still work together. Blue and orange still connect. And oh by the way, boxes are important. So just re reinforcing it. Doing each one of these episodically, doing these um, these episodes as I am, is a little interesting because the reinforcement that each puzzle is is giving me for you, if you're watching. If you're taking a few days between each episode, this is probably really being helpful. Oh, and I forgot to remind you. At the end of the last puzzle, they said that the voice specifically said it wasn't going to be watching us in this puzzle. That's why we haven't heard it say anything. It's not, it's not monitoring us at all. Whereas all the other puzzles, it is monitoring us. So, now I can make a portal over there. I could just walk through here. But I want to be a rebel. And so, let's see, what can I do? works. Alright. This is a little bit wobbly. Alright. Hmm. A 
wanted this guy to come with me. myself <laughs> these cubes are called companion cubes maybe I think there's a different heart version that has a heart painted <laughs> we're just screwing with the physics that crazy uh, I'll give up on this in a second but since I found a new way to solve this puzzle, can I get this? If I crouch down. You do have a crouch button. It is almost completely useless. There's, I don't think, any time. Well, there's a time where it's useful. Got me a little bit closer. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. So now You're not a good person. You know that, right? I don't know why it said that. It opened the door. That's... I don't think you hear that audio bit. Maybe I unlocked it because I did... I brought the cube with me. So let's bring the other cube with me. So the orange portal has changed. It's no longer over there. And we're in this room with this thing. We can't shoot a portal this way. The only thing we can do is do that. Take these things with us as far as we can go with them. So now we've got our two cubes. Let's jump here. And this is pretty much as far as we can take them. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. So, again we see that gets destroyed. No sound. Maybe it's a different thing that makes sound. I don't know. Now we take the cube with us. And it just gets destroyed too. So, no real reason to take this other cube with us. Might as well let this cube live on its little cube life as it is right there. No reason to destroy it. Uh, that is really weird. I can almost 100% swear that it, in the normal game it does not say the part about you you're saying you're not a good person. Uh, I think I may have accidentally unlocked that at the wrong time, perhaps, or just unlocked it as an easter egg. Because I beat this puzzle in a very different way than the normal way. Maybe we'll find some other different ways to, um, to beat the rest of the puzzles. We're starting to get into the, the real puzzles now, the hard puzzles. Uh, everything before this was just basically training. Uh, so now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the game. But we're done with this episode. Uh, like I was saying last time, as far as the Talos Principle, we would have been about 20 to 24 or 5 uh, puzzles through at this point. But also, we would have probably been about at two or three different very unique items uh, that are work around the puzzles and are part of the puzzles. 
we've only seen two items. We've seen the portal gun, we've seen these things, and we've uh, seen blocks. I'm not sure there are three more items, let's see, in portal. Eh, maybe, if you really stretch it. But notice again, these observation rooms, nobody in the observation rooms ever. So nobody observing. I'm making a very strange sound when I walk over the glass. It is a very strange sound. It's kind of spooky. If I heard this in the middle of the night, I might get afraid and run away. So I think Talos Principle wins for having more puzzles that are a little bit more complicated than the puzzles we've seen so far, and having more items that unlock earlier. Now, of course, I'm comparing the Talos Principle, a 2015 game, to Portal 1, a 2007 game that was made by a very small team, and they had no idea whatsoever how popular it was going to get. I'm pretty sure, for most critics, Portal was the game of 2007. There wasn't a lot of competition. But, uh, Portal was, for me, the game of 2007, and maybe 2008, maybe 2009, and heck, it might even be the game of 2015. Hey, every year I play it, or think about it, it might be the game of the year. <laughs> uh, because it is a great game. We have not seen its greatness yet. I keep saying it's a great game, I'm not just selling it up. We have not seen its greatness yet at all. We haven't seen anything yet. But, we are done with this episode. But, as always, I ask that you like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos because all of that helps me out. Um, if you want to connect with me through social links, that's all down in the description. Follow me on Twitter, connect to me on Steam, Battle.net for Hearthstone. Uh, if you get to my YouTube page and you subscribe, you should be able to get to my uh, Google Plus if you want to follow me on that too. All of that uh, is for your convenience. I, if you want to help me, sure, follow me on all those things. That probably would help me a little bit. Anyways, have a good evening.